Hello friends, welcome to Planning P6. Hope you are doing well. Today I am here with a topic of how we can update the progress from Excel to Primavera P6. As I have informed in too many tutorials that I am not preferring this method to update your schedule, but somewhere it is mandatory to update from the Excel if the activities are too much and project is very long. So some of the planners want to update. So I want to explain this how we can do and what are the benefits and what errors can happen during this import and how we can resolve the matter. So I have prepared for this matter we have prepared a file over there where we can put our activity IDs and name over there and other columns it will take from the other sheet. So basically we have put the formula over there if you can see the formula is there if you have your own sheet then you can just copy paste formula over there and change the columns or sheets names within the formula. If you see there, there is a long formula for that purpose. So we have managed everything. So this is our main sheet. If you see master activities, we will just put our activities there. As our project is for more than 5000 activities, so we will just put the activities there. And then after the activities, we will just take into the uh, other way. So if you see there, it is taking the dates finish dates, activity percent complete and also writing the status. We are not using this activity status but I mentioned here if you want to use somewhere to report to client or just use the filter then you can also use this filter. So it is taking basically from contractor A, contractor B and contractor D. Different I have just updated 3 or 4 activities over there. If you see there I have just updated the 3 or 4 activities to just show you people how it is working. So one of that it is taking from some of activities are there from contractor A and some of activities are from the contractor D. So this activity is taking I just updated two or three activities as the activity just to explain you people. So I will just clear the filter from here and also I have prepared a Primavera schedule over there. If you see there is a separate schedule here update progress from the Excel for the individual and for the master schedule as well. This is if you have three or four contractor, five contractors, you have the master schedule, you just give them the activity numbering same or take the activity for the same is from the master schedule and put there and this, this will be automatically track the activities and give you a comprehensive in a one sheet. So you can, you will be able to just copy and paste the data from there. And if you see there, there are no dates have been updated. I, uh, sorry, the time is not updated. Whatever the time you can use the default time over there for example you are starting the activities 8 o'clock so maybe you can format as a 8 o'clock as i have custom the format over there if you see there i will go to the format cell and custom if you see if i want to write here 08 it will be automatically 08 will be taken so you can manage your time as well if you update the time here in this format it will be automatically taken so it is converting the for example where is our data is here is if you see here i am just writing the percentage it is converting here to from the percentage to the uh, number value so now we will go and export a file and then import that file into the our project so this activities you can see there it is 5,335 activities. It is a very big schedule. So how we can do it? We will go to the activities. How we can manage? One is that we can manage from here. And there is another useful option. I have just updated. I started the project on 23rd of July. The other useful option is that you have option to use that activity 2 uh, window as well. If you see their activity 2 window is very good. I have just prepared this one. You We, we are able to update the schedule percent complete we have the format step by step we are uploading that on our website as well so we have the too many formats there we just take the data from Primavera export the data or copy or simply paste the data from here to in Excel and your dashboard will be automatically updated in upcoming tutorials I will upload two or three dashboards with their formats how we can take the data from Primavera and update our uh, Excel dashboard within 5 minutes you have to do only 5 to 10 percent work manually other than this every work will be every progress will be shown as per your primary schedule if you are updating on the primavera which is preferred and highly recommended method to always update your progress in primavera basic 
don't import the progress from the excel because there are too many errors some of the resource assignment mismanagement some resources are can be deleted or adjusted accordingly or sometimes it's giving the error too many errors so errors will be to locate the errors it will be a big trouble to fix those errors so activities i will go there and export excel as file export even you are using this window is also okay the same window is that this is without the wbs you can also manage this with the wbs and this activities window is the with wbs so it is the second window for the activities basically separate sheet activities next okay export option i will click the export and i have just prepare here progress update progress from excel you can add a new one also so modify if you see their activity id activity status wbs code activity name actual start actual finish and activity percent complete are there so these three columns are mandatory it will be not you cannot move back to those three wbs code activity status and activity id other you can move back or move in to the so we will just use the same next and i will give the location to the that activities i want to save on the desktop so activities desktop open open next and finish close it after the closing we will go to our desktop here is the activities file for example you can see there the activity file is there if you see i have updated only one activity to be the safe side i will just take this activity as it is and i will update the other data so here i will just take the data from the second row if you see there that the activity ids are same as this project if you have a new project then copy the activity ids from here and then activity uh, name from here this one for example i will just do that this one and this one and control shift down key so these both are selected now take that and paste over there or you can paste individually activity id 1 and then activity name as well i have just taken the same activities and updated this sheet i have prepared to save the time of you people so here you can see project start project finish is already updated project finish is not updated project start i will take the data if you update any of the activity in this sheet it will be automatically taken by the first sheet this is the master sheet you can get this sheet by uh, from the planningp6.com products you just write the activities master sheet from excel so it you can get and also i will get, give the link in the uh, video tutorial as well on the website blog you can also find this uh, link to get this file link and also it will be available in video description so i will just copy from here uh, just this way copy and then i will control shift down copy all the data and i will go there on the top here i will just paste here because we have copied from the second file if you see there i have copied from the second file so here i have copied from the second file second row then i will paste here also as a second row so you can have option to paste as a as a whatever you format you are using we will just use the above format as well so here i will just paste by this way and i will just format this okay and then this one is a journal okay i will just take this and format and then go by this way the second is formatted i will just go shift control and down key it will be automatically formatted up to the end up to the end it will be automatically formatted everything by this sheet so we don't need to do anything else we don't need to update the activity status it will be automatically updated by the primavera p6 so here if you see if if you want to do this file as a text file i will just do it as a text file if you see there are a text file other files are okay i will just save this file close that file now our activities has been updated i will go to the primavera again and file i will just import the file to the primavera xls file which we have saved so here this is the file import select your file we are taking some of the people taking from here the activities this is not related to this project if you see the project identification number is also separate so we have to go to the location where we have saved that file okay and then next here the update existing for project okay okay select the project this one is okay activities we have activities so finish it will take a little bit time so you can see here the import was successful as we have managed over there with this database you you can see there there are some progress is showing here 
and also where we have updated the activities are they are imported successfully as per the provided dates if we go to the activity 2 column you can see here the activity status has been automatically managed by the primavera p6 we have not updated and activity percent complete is also there you can see this activity is 50 percent 90 percent by this way you can update and if i open that file in this way there this file you can use again and again the same file and you have to do here maybe the paste special the values for this one and then format as it is by this way whatever the first format is first activity you will leave and then select that first activity again format it and then after the formatting control shift and down key after that it will be up to the end it will be formatted equally or as per the primavera p6 requirement so that has been automatically successfully imported to the primavera p6 so as i explained there i am not preferring this method to use for the progress update over there if you update the progress maybe you can use one by one in a, if the project is 5333 activities in a week time or daily maybe there are 30 activities are ongoing maybe there are 50 activities are ongoing so you have to do a little bit struggle and update in the primavera p6 so highly recommended method is that within the primavera p6 you should update if you are just want to update from the excel so here is this tutorial also update progress tutorial is there on the primavera p6 planning p6 channel you can go there and also there are apply actual channel uh, apply actual tutorial is there and update progress tutorial is also there these all are explained explained over there how to generate the reports how to manage the project so if you see this concept hopefully this tutorial will be hel helpful for you people please like share and comment on our tutorials thanks for watching allah hafiz